Welcome to a healthy living video blog at workoutmaster.com. Um, this is uh, my assistant Layla. Hello. Layla gonna help us out with showing how to do a deadlift. Now, when it comes to beginning of uh, or beginner deadlifts, I generally recommend doing the sumo stand deadlift because a lot of times people have a lot of uh, uh, flexibility issues in their hip. Uh, and the sumo stand deadlift is going to help you avoid that trouble. Uh, so the difference between regular deadlift and the sumo deadlift, on the sumo stand deadlift you just go wider step, uh, you go a little bit wider than the shoulders and you turn out the feet out. Uh, now, one of the reasons we also do sumo stand lift, uh, sumo stands deadlifts is because uh, it creates what we call a nutcracker effect. You basically have your two bones, they're called iliums, and your sacrum in between those iliums. When you keep the wide stance and you rotate your legs externally, you create a basically nutcracker effect where you squeeze the sacrum between the iliums and that helps you maintain the stability of what's so called SI joint or sacroiliac joint. And that is very important because a lot of top people have a lot of trouble with the SI joint and SI joint stability. So let's go ahead and uh, get in the position. Now, when you get in a position uh, with a sumo stand deadlift or any kind of deadlift, a lot of times it has something to do with the restrictions of your body. So if you can't go all the way down, we use a riser, so you can use a riser like this, or sometimes you can just get a things that you can put under the bar, so you don't have to go too low. Another thing that I use when I teach my clients, I use this very expensive tool, uh, and it's about a $5 stick, and we use it to maintain a good alignment of, the, of our client's back. So let's uh, get in the position, grab the bar. Alright, so when she's lifting the bar, she wants to stand very close to the bar, she wants to roll her shoulders back so they're in nice alignment, so you have good alignment on the back, maintain a good curvature in the lumbar spine. You want to use your legs to lift up the weight and the back. Good. We want to step away from the weight. Go the legs just a slightly little bit wider. The knees always going to be tracking in the second toe. Uh, now I'm going to adjust the stick. And Layla has a little bit of a thing on her hair which is going to be on the way, but you can get an idea that you want to have three points. Back of the head, between the shoulder blades, and the sacrum. You want to maintain good curvature through in the back when you do the deadlifts. Now come on down in the deadlifts, maintain a nice little curvature. Push the knees out, on. push the knees out, good. And come on back up. Alright, come on down again, try to bend a little bit more in the hips. Bending forward, there you go. Yeah, this stick doesn't work. On your right hand. Uh -huh, come on down. Beautiful. So this is what you want to watch. You want to watch for a nice uh, curvature in the lumbar spine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pinch a little bit of uh, skin in her back so she can feel if she's going too much. Come on down. There you go. Stop right here. And then come on back. Roll your shoulders back. Keep the belly button in. Come on down. Lean forward a little there you go. Now on the deadlift, you don't want to do deadlifts necessarily like the squats and put all your weight in the hips. You actually want to use your back, so you can actually lean forward a little bit more. There you go, bend the knees. And excellent. Let's rack it up. And also be careful when you're racking about the weight up because if you're using the heavy weight, you can hurt your back. So this is how you do a sumo stand deadlifts. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much for watching. Your future looks better. Alrighty.